on Monday. Yeah, so it's right around 6.45 a.m. Um, today is Monday, October 23rd. I have been up pretty much all night um, doing some cleaning and organizing. I mean, I slept from about 2 to 4.30. So I did have two and a half hours of sleep. But I'm still cleaning. I'm still organizing. I mean, this place, like, <laughs> there's just so much stuff. And I need to organize it and put it somewhere. I did do a lot of rearranging yesterday. So I hung up the curtains rehung this painting that's been hanging over my bed for you know 11 years now I took it down last year um rehung that painting you know just did a little cleaning and organizing in that corner right there cleared out the windowsill wiped down the baseboards um and i'm still putting clothes away and organizing stuff into my luggages because i can't leave any clothing out in this unit um, there are some compulsive career criminals living directly below me in unit 76 and also continuing to access the premises of the vacant unit behind this wall, which is unit 78, where a cyber criminal registered sex offender and psychopath named Jasmine Irizarry lived for nine of the last 10 years. And because Greenville continues to place her in this building, she continues to access the premises of her vacant unit, former unit behind this wall. She still lives in the building, but she keeps somehow managing to access the area behind this wall and gets really disruptive and intrusive. Um, whenever I try to use the shower in my bathroom or my toilet, last night she started smacking the wall behind my shower stall at 10.30 p.m. when I tried to use the facilities in my bathroom. And at the same time, the thug directly below 76 started making violent banging noises. Then when I came out of my bathroom to try to wash my hands at the sink, the creep in 88 started making violent slamming noises directly against that wall right there, right by my door. He wasn't slamming his door though. He was hitting the wall. It's a completely different sound. A door slamming sounds like a door slamming. Somebody pounding the wall sounds like somebody pounding the wall. Anyway, I've been just standing in this corner, just rinsing stuff out for the last hour and a half now and have just been getting like this incredible vibe um, of just Christmas. I'm not sure why Christmas, but all of a sudden, maybe it's because of the red curtains and the everything red that I put up, it feels like Christmas. And uh, I just pulled out this Christmas t-shirt and just did some uh, hand washing in the little wash tub in my sink, just washing some essentials. And what do you know, Santa is on the front of this shirt. Hold on a second here. Yep, so see, there's Santa. <laughs> so all of a sudden, just standing in that corner right there, and maybe because Santa is on the t-shirt and there's you know power of suggestion it feels like christmas i also plugged in my holiday lights i mean they can be ha halloween lights they can be christmas lights they can be easter lights i mean you know fourth of july lights these are just general holiday lights but maybe that's why it feels like christmas all of a sudden and i'm also getting like this ivy league kind of christmas vibe in this corner i don't know i keep getting these ivy league vibes not sure what's up with that. Harvard is six miles away, but um, it's a, it's an awesome feeling. It, it just feels like you're on an Ivy League campus. Again, I don't know if it's because I just hung up my curtains or why I'm getting this like sudden feeling of Ivy League, uh, you know, like I'm on an Ivy League campus. I'm just not sure where that's coming from. But, you know, at least the unit is a little bit neater than it was before. I hung up some bags and cleared out some space. Now I have to do something with these bags. Hung up these bags right here hung up these bags right here. So at least they all match, right? And now I need to put the clothes away and uh, yeah, do the bathroom. So that's my morning. <sighs> Looks better than it did yesterday, that's for sure.